friends, happy Wednesday. My name is Michelle Cottle, and I'm the director of Children's Ministries at Los Altos United Methodist Church. Last week, we talked about the creation story, and this week, we're going to talk about what happened next, what happened to those first two people, and some mistakes that they made. So, this story is called In the Garden. It was sunrise in the Garden of Eden. Eve was out for an early morning stroll. The sun rose high in the sky and its rays sparkled on the fruit that hung from the tree in the middle of the garden. It looked so good. What a shame that God had told her and Adam not to eat it. It tastes as delicious as it looks, you know, a sneaky voice said. Eve turned to see a big snake coiled around a nearby tree. I'm sure it does, replied Eve, but Adam and I can't eat that. God told us not to. If we even touch it, we will die. Nonsense, the naughty snake hissed. You won't die. If you eat the fruit, you will be like God. Eve reached out and plucked the delicious fruit from the tree. She turned it over in her hand, smelled it, brought it to her mouth and took one small bite. Then she gave some to Adam. Instantly, they knew something was wrong. The sun seemed to disappear behind the clouds. Dark shadows stretched across the garden. Adam and Eve felt cold. Why did they eat that fruit? How could they talk to God now? They slipped behind a tree and waited. Where are you? God's voice rang out clear and crisp in the cool of the evening. God's words echoed above the moonlit trees as God walked quietly through the garden. God was looking for their children. But Adam and Eve stayed where they were. They knew they should never have eaten that fruit. Adam was afraid, but he knew he had to talk to God. And so, gathering up courage, he held Eve's hand and stepped out from behind the tree. We're here, God, said Adam. We heard your calling, but we were scared. Did you eat the fruit I told you not to? God's voice trembled and God's heart filled with sadness as Adam and Eve looked up at them. What would happen now? Would God stop loving them? No, that would never happen. God could never take their love away. Adam and Eve were more precious to God than jewels. They were the ones God made the whole world for. The ones God painted the sky for. The ones God grew the garden for. The ones God created with God's very own breath. God bent down, gently picked up, their children and covered them in warm clothes before they had to leave the garden forever because of their sin God whispered softly I'll never stop loving you the gates of the Garden of Eden were closed Adam and Eve could never find their way back there but the way to God's heart was open they could always find their way back to God and the way back to God starts with prayer, talking to God, and being open and honest about the mistakes we make. Because all of us make mistakes. We all eat something we're not supposed to or touch something when we're supposed to keep our hands to ourselves. We say unkind things sometimes or we break something. It happens. But God doesn't love us any less. God loves us absolutely. Just remember that. Let's pray. Dear God, we're sorry for the mistakes we make. We want to make our way back to you. Help us to live in your light and trust you completely. Amen. Have a great week, and I will see you soon. We've got worship and Sunday school this week. And we'll be talking a little bit more about mistakes and about Adam and Eve. Hope to see you then. Bye.